on Dylan Block. You know what? Older adults are getting fed up with being labeled. It's true, and they should be enabled to lead their best life. She's going to help us right now, the executive director with Home Equity Bank. It's Yvonne Ziomecki. Nice to have you here again. Thank you for having me back. Home Equity Bank has been uh, rebranded a bit. Yes. Um, so our company has been around since 1986, so over 30 years in business. Uh, we work exclusively with people who are 55 and plus, and we are the providers of chip reverse mortgage across Canada. So it's been ta it was time last year to do a little bit of rebranding, mm -hmm. uh, change the colors, change the logo, um, and j change how we talk to this demographic mm -hmm. as well. Super important. They don't want to be talked down to. No, no, not we're, at we're all. all getting there. So, uh, uh, ageism bias. What exactly is that? Well, I think I think we have bias against older people just naturally, but I think in a lot of ways it's it's unconscious. We see them as less able. We see them as slower. We see them as maybe slowing down in their cognitive abilities, um, and it translates into everyday marketing, you know, product development, those types of things. Mm -hmm. And they're very much able, they're very much active, they're living longer, so it's time to have this conversation and change mm -hmm. how we treat this demographic. Of course, because we're only talking about age 55 plus. Mm -hmm. That really isn't, that. that's not, that's young, that's super young. Yep. So, so what are 55 plus experiencing right now? Well, if you think about, so we, we ran commercials last year, we ran new commercials, and we wanted to see how they were being perceived. Uh, but it's really difficult to get that in the focus group environment because people will tell you something, but their brain is actually thinking something else. So we partnered with a company called Brain Sites. Mm -hmm. We put metal helmets on, on people to read their brain, and we were able... <laughs> did you? <laughs> yes, we did. Yeah. And we were able to read how their brain reacts to the marketing that they're currently seeing, different types of commercials, hours, Christmas ads, um, you know, movie trailers, those sorts of things. Okay, so, so and then and did this actually... <laughs> <laughs> did you really read people's brains? Yes, we did. Yeah, yes, we did. so they weren't happy about things. Uh, so they reacted differently. So they this react is what this is what we learned. So um, we learned four key things from the research of okay. having them with the metal helmets yeah. on. Uh, we learned that they don't like stereotypes. Mm -hmm. So they don't mind if we're laughing with them, but they really don't like when you're laughing at them. So any sort of commercial or advertising that is making fun of them, they disengage and they become disconnected, which is really important, not even not just in the market, uh, marketing space, mm -hmm. but in everyday life. Um, they really like nostalgia, old mm -hmm. songs, old photos, old movies, any of those things, you know, uh, bring up positive emotions. Um, they like anything to do with their children or grandchildren mm -hmm. when they were reading them bedtime stories or playing them, teaching them to ride a bike. And then the last thing we learned is you need to provide information to them in smaller chunks because that's how they process the information they receive. Okay. So how is Home Equity Bank doing things differently then to help out? people that are above the age of 55. Well, so it, ch it started with changing our advertising because we wanted to make sure that people um, understood what we were all about and, you know, that we get them. We have really uh, funny ads on air right now when um, there's one worth dinner conversation um, where the younger couple is asking their parents to sell the house and get the proceeds from the house and they're suggesting to move in with them and mm -hmm. move into a condo. We just, we, we found little insights from research and from those ads um, that made us a lot more relatable. Uh, it's reflected in our marketing materials. We try to explain things simply so people know about the product and, and what it's going to do for them, those okay. types of things. I also read that 80% uh, of people in that age bracket don't like the word senior. That's the worst word. We, we've actually been struggling with finding another word. Um, we haven't, yeah. uh, so if you have an idea. Um, it, it is tough because everyone that pops into my mind or the ones that are used are kind of offensive. Very ageist, right? And yeah. we've done focus groups with, 50 who, uh, with people who were over 85 who don't view themselves as seniors either. So we need to work harder on finding a new word for them. Why is this topic so important to what you do? and your company? Well, we help people 55 and older. Our average client who comes for a reverse mortgage is 72 years old, so kind of hmm. right in, in the middle of that demographic. And, you know, in order for us to be successful, in order for them to feel that they work with a company who understands them, we wanted to learn more, and, and, did, and that's why we did all that research. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great thing. Uh, the chip reverse mortgage and all of that, homeequitybank.ca for more details. And thank you very much for being here today. Thank you for having me. Appreciate the insight, as always. And, of course, we thank you for being here. I'm Dylan Black. Have a good day.